For this problem, we're going to be talking about cathode ray tubes. And that may or may not be a name that means something to you, depending on how old you are. Cathode ray tubes used to be the main way we got televisions to work before we had LED, LCD, and plasma televisions. And let's investigate how exactly these tubes work. So on one end of the tube, we have an electron here, and we give it some really large initial velocity V0, such that it shoots across this tube towards this green screen over here. And when this electron hits the screen over here, it temporarily causes it to light up, producing a dot on the screen. Now you can imagine if we were able to draw lots of these dots on the screen, we could use it to draw images, like this one here. But in order for us to be able to make dots on other parts of the screen, we have to bend the path of the electron so it doesn't just go in a straight line. And how can we bend the path of an electron? Well, one easy way is with an electric field. And we saw in the previous two questions that a great way to produce a nice constant magnetic field is to have two parallel plates, like these two. So when this negatively charged electron moves into this electric field, it'll get pulled towards the positive plate, directing it to this part of the screen. And you can imagine if we wanted the electron to go down here, we'd just switch the charges so the negative charges were up here and the positive charges were down here. So this means we can control what part of the screen the electron hits and therefore lights up just by changing the strength and direction of this electric field here. So for this problem, you're going to tell me how strong I should make this electric field such that this electron gets bent a distance away from the center from its straight line path of delta y. So you should assume that the electron is in the magnetic field for a total distance of 0.5 meters, and we want the deviation away from the center delta y to be equal to 0.1 meters. We'll also assume that the electron enters the field with an initial velocity of 1 times 10 to the 7th meters per second. You will also need the charge and mass of the electron, which I have provided here. Now a few quick notes. You'll notice that this speed here is really large, and the super astute among you might notice that it's actually getting close to being the speed of light. And if you've heard anything about the theory of relativity, you might know that as we get close to the speed of light, strange things start to happen. We won't worry about any of that in this problem though, so just assume that everything behaves as we're used to. Also note that even though I've drawn my field lines so the arrows are pointing down, the electron is going to bend up because it has a negative charge, and we always draw the field lines in the direction a positive charge will move. Alright, so you can put your answer for the strength of the electric field right here and put it in units of newtons per coulomb. Alright, good luck!